Hey everybody, this is Toy Gamer Junkie, and I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So this was actually um, shown to me by Dr. Daniel. He left a comment, and he showed me these pictures, and he got this from Twitter, and it was from this person called Kino at Chaos Maxine, and they show a bunch of pictures of whenever Max and Chloe um, are thinking of each other, they end up touching their watches. And then, and you even got to hear there's a comment, I just realised that when Chloe and Max think of each other, they touch their watch, I'm effing sobbing. And I had a look for the pictures and, and she's right. Oh, or he's right, I don't know who Kino is, I'm like, not really into Twitter. But, I got Twitter up here, just so I could see this. Now, if any of you remember a while ago, I made a video about whether or not Pixie could possibly be the key to Max returning to her own timeline and Tristan to his. Although I doubt Tristan's going to be able to return to his timeline, or, well, to make more sense, he probably won't, as in this new timeline he gets a fresh start and can try having a better life than what happened before when he got his powers. Now, when I was looking through these images, I noticed something interesting. Um, there's a reference about the watch in issue 3 of Life is Strange Dust, which I saw on Kino's Twitter, and this person put, I think this might be a reference to the Dust arc, they used their watches to prove that Max wasn't jumping through time, what the F, it hurts so much, and um, when and it is, that, that was from, this shot you're seeing here is from issue 3 and as you all know um, how the dust arc ends is Max goes to this new timeline with Chloe and Rachel and if you go back to the dust arc and when, and you look at the uh, few pictures of Max when she sees Chloe and Rachel you'll see that she's still wearing her watch now what's interesting about that is she got entirely new clothes but she kept the same watch, at least I'm pretty sure it's the same watch, it doesn't look any different to me. But I don't think, like, like, because at this point with the comic, you know, it's just going everywhere, it's like, it, it made sense, now it's going out of control. But you know, I'm still going to cover it, I'm still going to be making theory videos, I'm still going to be uploading the comics, because that's what my channel is here, it's Life is Strange, like, and I'm trying to provide Life is Strange content, because I'm a fan of the Life is Strange series even the comics and um, I, I think the watch is I think both match Max and Chloe's watch are going to be the key to Max returning like one of the keys I mean I've said Pixie's the key now I think the watch is the key and now then this is gonna be something else entirely because <laughs> I, I don't know what's gonna happen um, but we will find out in July you know what's gonna happen which is in five months God um, and another thing about the watch is, what, um, what, we see Max, she's wearing the watch, I believe, most of the time, when we see, when she sees Chloe in that, so what if the watch is actually, um, able to help her, um, see Chloe, because the watches are the same, well, obviously they're probably different brand or model or something, but basically, the watch Max is wearing is from her original timeline so that's probably why she's able to see Chloe now and maybe the watch is what's letting this other Chloe the Chloe that's with Rachel maybe that watch is what's kind of making her remember the High Seas Band song and when she sculpted the storm maybe that watch is kind of like a gateway that's affecting this timeline possibly so in a sense Max would have to destroy the watch um, if she if she's not going to but if she did destroy the watch then maybe all this deja vu stuff with Chloe would stop happening but like I said this is a theory video I'm not entirely sure of what anymore where this comic's going it's just all over the place so anyways that's the end of this video I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one and I'll leave a link to this person's Twitter in the description below in case you want to go have a look because because I'm not really, like, I did, like, ha have a Twitter account for my YouTube channel, but then I didn't really go on that. And plus, with the way Twitter is now, I'm not, I don't really want to get involved with Twitter. But if you want to, okay, go ahead. So, 
The link to where I found this stuff will be in the description below and thanks again to Dr. Daniel for letting me know about this interesting, interesting development. Uh, or, well, whether or not it will be development, we'll just have to wait and see. This is Toll Game Junkie, signing off.